a tease of Israeli settlements Obama. Stay strong Israel, January 20th is fast approaching. A defense of Netanyahu sounded incredulous that Kerry was focused on blaming Israel when so many other problems plagued the Middle East. The president made that claim as part of an insistence that his kind of positive, hopeful campaign would have resonated with Americans, despite what Trump successfully tapped into. We cannot continue to let Israel be treated with such total disdain and disrespect, Mr. Trump wrote on Twitter. The final text was carefully drawn to use identical, or near identical, language to resolutions dating to the 1970s on Israel and the Palestinians that the United States had previously approved. For each of these reasons, Israel should neither be surprised nor outraged at the recent UN Security Council resolution condemning those settlements. One has to make a choice between settlements and separation. If the settlements inflame risks to Israel, undermine its legitimacy, and hollow out international support, they are clearly not in the Israeli interest. U.S. Ambassador Samantha Power, who had just received the go-ahead from Obama, via a call from White House National Security Advisor Susan E. Rice, raised her hand high in abstention. Even as he blasted the ballooning of Israeli settlements, saying that 270,000 more settlers are living in the West Bank since Obama took office, Kerry also criticized the Palestinians for ongoing incitement and glorification of terrorist s. Thanks for viewing this tease. Sign up for the Tip Top Tech channel or search for a tease second mind on YouTube to find and then enjoy other teas.